Okay, so I just want to do a quick analysis of this market compared to a couple of other markets and show you that there's some interesting similarities. Now, we've just had a week, uh, today is April 9th, April 10th. We just had a week, short week, where we've come off the lows and we've been trying to make a bottom. Now, we're making a V-shaped bottom by any def anybody's definition. So this is a S&P 500 and you're seeing it ending here on April 8th. <clears throat> Uh, and so you're seeing this big move down over the last few weeks during the beginning of the coronavirus and everything got shut down. Now you're starting to see some hope here, right? So people are hoping. And the interesting thing is this is about a 50% move from its low. So we went down about 29, 30%. And now we've come back 50% of that move. It's amazing. Now, we'll talk about Fibonacci levels in just a second, but that's a, that's a big move. Now, what happens from here, I'm not sure, but this is the S&P 500 today, so go ahead and take a good look at that. And I'm gonna show you this leg down, and this leg up is the left side of a W, which forms a double bottom pattern, possibly. So let me show you what that looks like. All right, so here is the S&P 500 index from 1998. Now, this was a period of time where right after this period things just took off and we could have that same thing happen again but i think we have to get through some slogging through some numbers some you know bad reports from companies some more uncertainty in the market and some more bad news so here's that left side of the w that we just saw on the current chart but this is the night in 1998 then we saw it come up look at that it came up like a pretty good amount like almost um I would say a comparable amount, probably not quite up as, as high as 50% off of its move, but it's pretty close. Now that apex where it's come up from is very important. That's the buy point of a double bottom pattern. Now, whether we have a double bottom today, I don't know, but I'm showing the similarities that if you study the past, you might learn some things from the past. So what happens is markets like to go back and test those lows just to see if they were real and also to clear out the people that were a little bit unsure. The, the, um, the weak holders, they call them. And so you're seeing in 1998, this big move back down where it went down, undercut the lows. And when it got rid of cleaned out all these people that didn't clean out before, then it decided, okay, we've cleaned them all out. It made a hammer candle at the bottom and look at it, it just took off from there. And we know what happened at the end of 1998, 99, up into early 2000, we had a huge bull market. And so this was the beginning of that bull market. Now, it wasn't a V-shaped recovery that just went straight up. It needed to go out and test those lows. And that happens in these markets. For some reason, it happens over and over again because human beings are emotional. And in this leg down, we saw a huge amount of fear. Then we saw a little bit of hope here. And then we saw more fear. And that down at the bottom, th this is more the people that are, this is the smart money getting back in. They've cleared all these people out. To, it took time to get rid of all these people. Once it got rid of them, then the market didn't have any upside resistance and it took off. That's a double bottom pattern, it's a W. So there's significant things to note on here. Number one, the second leg of the W undercuts the first V of the W, let's call it. Double V in, in German is W now. But that's, that, that's an important thing to notice. Also the apex is important thing to notice. That's the buy point. You don't wanna be trying to buy the bottom because it could go down here. These people tried to buy the bottom and it worked for a little while and then they took their profits. You wanna buy at this point because it's cleared out all of these other traders here in this area and this is the buy point of a double bottom pattern. Okay, that's 1998, it's pretty significant. Now, here's 1987. If you look at 87, we had our big down leg, then we had our up, that made the apex here. Now you can call this the apex and we can make another double bottom pattern here, but it's close enough. So that's the apex. Then it went back down again, but it didn't test the lows. And because it didn't test the lows, our recovery was very shallow compared to 1998. Look at that recovery, straight up almost. But this one's a very shallow recovery. And it took a lot of time for it to get going. Even when it got to the apex, it wasn't a huge buy pattern. Look, it had to come back and test that apex again. So there's a lot more uncertainty in this market. I just find it really interesting when markets want, everybody thinks it's gonna go up now. So the whole, everybody thinks on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the Monday, the market is gonna go up when it opens and it just might. But markets wanna go back and test those lows and clear them out to make sure that they got all rid of all the stuff that was anchoring them down. 
Um, I also analyze things from a Fibonacci level. Fibonacci numbers are really interesting. They're called sacred geometry, and they're really interesting numbers. And human beings have some, I don't know what it is, but they have some propensity for hitting these numbers. So I want to show you what the Fibonacci uh, looks like uh, on, this, on this stock chart. This is the SPY right now. This is the Fibonacci line from here to here. Now we've had a 50% retracement right there at that line right there is a 50% retracement. But we have some strength going into that. Now it's a question of whether there's a lot of strength. We just had an up day which basically turned into a stall day um, and made a made a what's it, what's called a doji candle here. So that means there's uncertainty. It doesn't it could go up it could go down, which is, you know, double speak for who knows what the heck's going to happen in the market. But Generally, that's a sign of strength where you've got to close above that 50% level, which shows you the next level, which is the 0.618 retracement level, is in play. Now, interestingly enough, look at that gap there. Gaps like to be filled. And so it may go up and fill that gap and may come down, or it may just start coming down now. There's no reason for it to come down now. It had to close above the 50% level or the 50% retracement level. So my sense is it probably goes up to this 0.618 level, which is you know, 2,900 or something like that on the SPY, but then after that, it gives it all up. That's my sense. Um, and Fibonacci uh, levels are just interesting, how they, how they like to hit, get hit. Now, will it go back up and hit this high when we had all this strength before the coronavirus? Who knows? All right, this is the market going back to that same chart. So let's look at today, 1998, 1987, and then this is where we are today again. So this is that down leg, we've got the up leg. Now, what's gonna happen here, who knows? Could we go back up and maybe go all the way up and test that strength at the top? That's gonna take a lot of work in my opinion, it could happen. We're more likely to come back down and test this lower area, kind of like we did in 1998. That's my sense. Um, now whether that happens Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I don't know, but I believe that we're gonna go back down and want to test that, test that level. So we'll, we'll see what happens.